In Shinjuku, there was a famous kashiya called Nakamuraya. A kashiya is a Japanese style sweet shop that offers traditional Japanese and foreign baked goods, cakes, and snacks. The proprietors of the thriving shop were Soma Aizo and his wife, Kokko, and they engaged many employees. The morning of December 2nd, 1915, was cold and a white frost coated the streets. While Aizo was at the storefront, Nakamura Tasuku, the editor in chief of Niroku Shimbun, stopped by the shop. Nakamura Tasuku was a frequent customer of Nakamuraya, and whenever he visited, he would always chat with Aizo about current affairs. Mr. Nakamura, I wonder what will become of that Indian man, Mr. Bose? Aizo asked. Mm, well, it truly is a troubling situation. Mr. Toyama and various other personages are going considerably out of their way to settle this problem. But at any rate, since it's Britain that they're up against, I suppose there's nothing that can be done. Even if someone tries to hide Bose, there's no good hiding place. In the end, it really can't be helped, I suppose. The idea of hiding place triggered Aizo's interest. I suppose an unsuspecting place, such as my own, might be suitable for hiding someone. He mused idly. Ah yes, that's a good idea, Nakamura replied. After their conversation, Nakamura Tasuku left the shop. He went directly to the home of Toyama Mitsuru to consult with him, suggesting that Aizou's property be used to hide Bose. Some compatriots, however, were concerned that in the event of trouble, it would jeopardize Aizou's business, and for this reason, they were opposed. However, as a result of Nakamura Tasuku's zeal and Aizou and Koko's chivalrous spirit, in the end, the Soma home was decided on as a hiding place, and they began to put together a plan for evading the police. There is no way of knowing what turns of fate will arise and what developments will result from them. Neither Rashbahari Bose, nor the Soma family, nor Mr. Nakamura had any idea that this idle conversation at the storefront would soon determine the direction of Bose's entire life. From Aizou's point of view, his conversation with Mr. Nakamura had just been nothing more than idle chatter between a store owner and his customer. In the afternoon, Aizou had some shop-related business to attend to and headed out towards Shimoya. After having spent the day busily rushing about, he decided to stop for dinner at a restaurant called Mugito in Tenjinshita. As he ate by himself, the details of the morning's conversation with Mr. Nakamura were turning over in his head. He froze, with his chopsticks still in his hands. This morning, I mentioned my idea to Mr. Nakamura, but I wonder... Perhaps by gut instinct, he began to feel a sense of vague uneasiness. He put down his chopsticks and stood up to make a phone call to the shop. 